a good girl. Hi, Snake. Okay, hi, my name is Taylor. I am one of the keepers here in the bird department at Zoo Atlanta, and this is Cooking with Keepers. So today we are going to prepare the diet for the Cory Buster. Snake and Tuza are large ground birds. They live in the southern part of the continent of Africa, and they're going to eat a lot of different things because they are omnivores. What we're going to prepare today are some meatballs, and we're going to prepare them with some crane diet, some game bird diet, and some ostrich diet. And we are going to roll all these diets with some meat. The first thing that we need to do is soak some of these diets. So we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Uh, we're also going to soak these other two diets and let them sit in some water for a little while. In the wild, they would eat a lot of different kinds of insects and bugs. So one thing that they're going to get are mealworms. These are called superworms. Another thing that they're going to get are crickets. They're also going to get some mice. In the wild, they would catch small rodents, but here at the zoo, we get them frozen, and we thaw them out the night before, so that way they're nice and ready for our quarries to eat today. So we've mixed all three of our grains um, into here. Now that the grain is nice and mushy, it's pretty easy to make some meatballs for them. Cory bustards are actually um, the largest or the heaviest birds that are capable of flight. So that's why the diets for all these birds works for the Cory bustards as well. And we are making them rather large. They like to swallow them in one large chunk. So now that we have our meatballs all rolled, we're going to add our other goodies in. So we have our superworms. We're gonna make sure and add a good handful of those. Then we have our mice. And then we have some nice crickets as well. And now we have a Cory Buster diet. 